Welcome back everyone, I'm Deedabrus Dior, and this is Brigadine. Where we last left off, we finished off New Elmechia. I'm gonna go ahead and send you on a quest. Oh, we also got a bunch of new people, don't we? We got Carlota, the Enchantress. Um, her MP is rather impressive for her level. Uh, we also got Lafal. He's just a fighter. And that's all we got. So, come to think of it, let's go ahead and move you down here. Oh yeah, before I... Okay, you're fine. What can we summon here? Hydras. Nothing good. Let's find a place that you can actually summon good things. Wyverns are okay. Actually, they don't have very much rune power. Let's go ahead and just mute, move these guys. Um, wait, how's Giard? You're somewhat decent. Good. Go ahead and do some organizing. Hey, Giard, have yourself a judgment mace. It will make his attacks automatically be element white, which doesn't really matter, and it gives him plus six attack. Nothing too important, but it's better than nothing. Let's um, go to classes. As you can see, we can upgrade Baleen into an Artemis. It's a little bit higher attack power and defense. Good old palette swap action there. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and do that. But trust me, Artemis is like one of the best classes ever. And for some reason, the sound for ch changing didn't occur. Whatever. Um, white dragons, you're almost leveled up. And you guys are on your way to level ups. Alright, so let's look up Artemis. They have a longbow and a marvelous shot, which is just an improved form. They pretty much, it's just like triple shot, except it's just like they shoot like seven times. Um, the main key thing is they have a heck, they are range is four, which is the longest range attack in the game, as far as, you know, regular attacks go. Um, they also get a bunch of spells. They know Solid, which is a Petrify spell. They also know React, and I believe they learned Protect. So yeah, they get some pretty good sub spells as well. Um, I don't really mess with any of them, except maybe React. Um, at this point, you're pretty much just using them, using them for the, uh, the, the Hex 4 longbow right there. There are also two green elements, which is kind of nice. So there you go. We got that going for us. Let's go ahead and move Georg and Carlota up to here. And we'll just send Useless on more quest. So we're now pushing on their borders, so they're gonna have to move units here. So let's go ahead and execute this move. And here we are. Alright, he's not holding anything back. He's going with um, King Kai himself, who's a warlock. He has 10 spells, I think. Yeah, 10 spells. He knows heal, which is kind of unique for spell, uh, arcane casters. He knows flame, Geno Flame, Thunder, Geno Thunder, Exablast, which is kind of like um, Fallberg. Frost, Geno Frost, Flight, and Silent. King of Caroline which is known as the Magic Kingdom, a young man so uh, so gentle that he may give the impression that he is a weak king. But he has profound wisdom and passion in his heart. He is also known as the Silent Wise King. We're also going to be dealing with some upgraded units, like the Maneater, the White Dragon, and the Afriti. And we got Dinadin, who's one of the major swordsmen of, the, of this game. He's a level 28 Paladin. 
He knows Heal, Cure, Holy Word. He also has the Man of the Casket. The strongest knight in Caroleon, uh, and the only knight master on the continent. He has a malicious tongue. He doesn't like anything that has to do with the palace. King Kai is the only reason he continues to work in the palace. So yeah, he's a knight master. So he's pretty much top dog. And then we got Shast, who is a grappler. Not much to say about grapplers. They're like monks, but they don't have spells. Instead, they get bonus to crit. Uh, an enthusiastic knight of Caroleon. Uh, he considers justice to be the key to everything, and he is willing to fight anyone who opposes. He always gets into an argument with Denadin, however, and their teamwork on the battlefield is unique. So there you go. Let's do this. The Scar's Empire is invading. Wow, only one person guarding there. Well, now those places are connected, so now they can actually uh, move their their knights around again. Oh yes, this place. Okay, no special dialogue. Get a bunch of small islands connected by bridges. This is going to be a little bit of a pain to get everyone positioned, but that's alright. Come to think of it, they actually don't... I mean, they don't have much as far as uh, flying units. So this is actually more to my advantage than uh, anything else. Keep my flying units on water, so that way these characters can move freely. It won't act until King Kai acts. So we'll So we'll get the Mist in the Dense turn first. Which will be good. Yep. Oh, that's a dumb move. Why'd you do that? Wow. We win we win the battle. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to do that. He usually is very cautious, but I guess the bridges really throw him off. Cause he just rushed right in there. And the thing is, I can't really afford leaving him there. I have to take him out. Oh yes, cast protect on the Mandrake. You know, instead of your king. Okay. So yeah, this is happening. I was hoping I'd spend this time opportunity to kill monsters, but uh, that ain't happening. Word of magic. Here comes the word of magic. Whack. 
Yes, he attacks with his book. Level 20. I'm just amazed that this is happening. nothing more we can do, we have to retreat. Level up. Got a free pixie. And they have to flee. Level 19. 15, level 17, level 13. Good stuff. Alright, so that happened. So now they're all split up. Which is good. So what I want to do is go ahead and... Let's do some organizing. Alright, we don't need a lot of these units. I'll go ahead and swap these. Well, actually... Yeah, we'll keep them. And for the time being... Come to think of it, we might only need one pixie. Let's do some summoning. There we 
go. We'll go ahead and delete these units. Forces, but I don't think I can pull it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus on just the capital. Yeah, the capital, and just wipe that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and split this video, I think. This is, I think, we're pushing all our, our... Well, I think it's going on long enough. So, um, I was impressed to your, and this was Brigadine. Um, let's go ahead and show the map, as always. Yep, as you can see, we're pushing into their territory. So, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Go. Alright. Sorry about that. Uh, apparently the last video was only 17 minutes, so we'll go ahead and just add this to it. Let's continue. people to look up, so let's take a look. We have Milia. She's an enchantress. Decent moon power. Um, and decent MP. A painter who likes to travel. She becomes friends with people she meets on, on the way, and she is well informed on, of the local situations. Without knowing much about each other, she became good friends with Marriott, who was visiting the town secretly. Already know about Denadin, and we, then we got Milcock. He's a level 5 priest. Not that good. A priest who spends more time on inventions instead of praying, which causes uh, bio art headaches. His inventions are usually not practical, but King Kai states they are, they are practical, they amuse Marriott. So there you go. So let's do this. I can just redo this part and add and tack it to whatever the uh, 17 minutes is. I have to be a little cautious because losing so much data is kind of annoying. All right. I think we're in good position. I'm going to set up here. I should have just formed the line. Oh well. Wow, that was pretty amazing. Not, that's not so amazing. 39 damage. I'm 
might as well get a, I'm getting a kill, so might as well take advantage of it. Pretty amazing. But I'm just gonna try to get that. So yeah, it's just a pallet swap. But she can shoot from the moon and back. I wish I could get her an, an item, like a bow. Like the heaven bow or something. But uh, we haven't had much luck with that. I might see about doing the, um... See if I can get set up for a Meteor Doom. Fortunately, I set my line up before considering doing it. But I can still pull it off, it's just gonna be a, it's gonna be a little risky sometimes. Feed my phoenix. I mean, the damage that the previous ghoul has done is going to be regenerated, so... Whoa, another crit! Wow, you're trying too hard. You're only 300 damage again. Spine missile. Get to see what this does. It doesn't do very much damage, but it's a range attack. How should I take advantage of this? Okay. We'll move over here. Okay, 
it. We're gonna hit everybody. Let's do it. The annoying thing about um, Carleon or um, well, fighting against them is they all their characters have so much rune power they can carry they can sit, bring along a lot of dragons. Kind of like that previous army we were dealing with. Okay, so it went to her action. In that case, let's go ahead and do an energy bolt. My, my army has three react spells. Okay, let's start with the basics. More holy words. This is, uh, we're still as brutal as ever. Level up. Let's go ahead and do another holy word. Because I can.
let's move you out of the way. Go ahead and finish off this dragon. really hard to get positioned for correctly because you kind of have to be right in the front lines to use the spell without hurting your own allies. So uh, here you go. Meteor Doom. That's the power of Meteor Doom. This battle wasn't as easy as I thought. All up. Got a free pixie. You're gonna retreat. So yeah, they're down, they lost um, all but like five of the creatures maybe? Four of them maybe? Of course they're going to take a swing out of my Artemis. journey, Lothal became lost on a steep mountain road. As Lothal was wandering around the mountain, something at the bottom of the cliff started to move. It looks like it, it looks like a pixie with an injured wing. Lothal started to approach it as rocks started to fall from the mountain. Oh no! Lothal lost, loses consciousness as a rock falls on Lothal's head. Some time had passed, Lothal woke up inside a dark cave. You're finally awake, huh? An old man with a scary looking face is looking at Lothal. The pixie with the injured wing is next to him and with some other tamed monsters. It looks like this old man has the power to control monsters. You know me ugly? Don't lie to me by saying no. Everybody, everyone makes fun of my face. My name is Dogol. I left civilization and came to live on this mountain for the last 30 years. 30 years? I used to live in a town but the people in the town called me names. Ugly, dirty, monster, you name it. I couldn't take it anymore, so I left. It was more like I was forced to leave. I still get sick to my stomach when I think about it. You're a knight, aren't you? Most of the knights I know don't think twice about sacrificing monsters in order to win. However, you jumped in front of the falling rocks to protect the pixie. Why? 
Protect the Bixie. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. You weren't thinking. I guess you're not qualified to be a knight. What? But I thank you for saving the Pixies. Uh, do you see these monsters? They are my family. They are my children since I live on this mountain by myself. It's been a while since I spoke to a human. I can't find the words, but I just want uh, you to know that, that I really appreciate what you did. You're not bad for a human. Thank you. If you don't mind, I have a favor, favor to ask of you. What is it? Would it be possible for my children and I to work for your country? Excuse me? As I said before, I hate humans. To live among the humans again is the last thing I want. However, the war has reached this far and we are running low on food. If I'm alone, I wouldn't mind dying, but I can't stand seeing my children starve. So, what do you say? I won't complain as long as you feed us well. A country with a knight like you shouldn't be that bad. Please let me work as a knight for your country. I understand. I'm sure that my lord will be happy to have you with us. Really? Did you hear that, everyone? I'm going to uh, be able to let you, you all eat as much as you want. Thank you very much. Douglas joined. There you go. That was the person we we're looking for. All right, Legwars quest. It's raining. Legwars getting wet while looking for shelter. Okay, we've done this one. This is the one with about the girl. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip. And we got the rune armband. Awesome. That's a really good item. So what did they got left? Oh, so they moved over here. Okay. Well, let me go ahead and show off Dogol. Dogol starts out with a few monsters. They're all named. He has Fido the Hellhound, Pinto the Centaur, and Tinkle the P Pixie. He is level 2 Barbarian with 268 rune power. He is awesome. And he's going to be a keeper. for anything else. Wow, I have actually I have room for like stuff. <laughs> I have room for stuff. In fact, um actually one of these upgrades shouldn't be an issue. Whatever, I'll wait for the moment. I mean my army's pretty good as is. Um let's go ahead and organize real quick. She has the Bell of Comfort, and now we can get the Rune Armband, which is plus 25 power. Rune power, I mean. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we're gonna go ahead and give Dogol the Bell of Comfort. So now he has 283 rune power. I'm not sure what this place can summon, so let's find out. Probably dragons, yep. Let's go ahead and summon some dragons. So with this, we'll be able to actually have a, de uh, a decent army to uh, defend with. I'm not going to use him for offense, even though he worked just fine in off on offense. Uh, sorry, I'm getting some frame rate issues, guys. Don't have enough room. Let's go ahead and just move you guys down. We'll keep Tinkle, because it is a named character. As you can see, we got ourselves three dragons and a centaur. So let's go ahead and move Dogol to here. And we'll do some more organizing once we get over there. Uh, let's do some final organizing. Let's delete this pixie we don't need. And we'll go ahead and send these two on a quest. So good, we finally got him. That's that's awesome. That means we're. Cause I'm a little nervous about this place because it's not that powerful. Um, with Dogol, it should be a lot easier to work with. Yeah, it won't be the best, but it'll be something to work with. Ah, let's do some organizing there too. Go ahead and swap that pixie for that pixie, and then you can go ahead and keep that pixie. Okay. I'll go ahead and execute these moves. And let's go ahead and show the domain. As you can see, it's split. Now I split the forces, so now... 
Kai is trapped over here. Not that it really matters, he has a freaking full army here. Um, over here, though, he reorganizes troops, of course. So he's got an okay army over here as well. Uh, we took out their white dragon, so they, that was probably a hefty loss for them. And right now, every single one of their cities has to be guarded, so they're not... They're not looking so good at all. So, Scali is probably going to take full advantage of this. Like he's been doing. I mean, unless they have like... Yeah, they don't even have that many monsters here. So yeah, their entire force is trying to stop me right now. Well, they're pretty much giving up all their back territories that they worked so hard to get. But, uh, that should be good for right now. Sorry for the break in the middle, but, um, better to be safe than sorry. So, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Brigadine. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.